Yo, what's going on guys? It's Basilia. It's Combasilia actually. I did change my uh, channel name to Combasilia away from Basilia12. The uh, reasons behind that is sort of long, but long story short, uh, it's basically my username and another in an, in, an, in another one of sort of like the clan or guilds that I'm in. And I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while uh, for the I'm, so, I'm sorry I haven't up, I haven't uploaded in a while, but uh, for like publicly. But I, I, as you can see, I have actually been uploading. Uh, if I can show you right here, and I, my last upload, my last public upload was four days ago. But I was doing um, roster. These are all unlisted, so you can't actually view them on my channel. You do need the link, and that was mostly due to privacy reasons. And I don't want to really. Uh, put those out there. So we're going to be doing some Clash Royale gameplay. I got to turn the volume up a little bit because air shoes screws with my volume. And we're going to be uh, watching a couple, a, a couple, um, a, la well, a couple replays of just going in challenges. Right now I've sort of decided that I'm going to focus mostly on challenges with this account. Right now until I get my car levels up. Uh, at least I, re I really want to get my uh, three musketeers to like level eight before I really start uh, doing any sort of like trophy pushing because the problem with, that I run into with my deck a lot right now is that it does have a really hard counter being uh, the fireball and if your fireball is taken out it is sort of hard to be able to um, win when your main uh, or like you're basically like your main win condition. Uh, which is your musketeers are constantly being taken out for for elixir which is very annoying and you have to and, and, and you end up having to rely on your uh, balloram uh, to do basically like most of the damage which can get a little obnoxious i chose this replay mostly because uh he he had fireball in his deck and that was causing a lot of problems i i do so there's so there's like two there's basically like two different uh, trains of thought on uh, where to place your uh, elixir collector. The reason why I'm placing it there against like a um, hog deck is because I'm sort of thinking that maybe he wants to get more value out of his fireball and he'll miss activate my king tower, which is good against uh, hog decks. So he does switch up lanes here, uh, which in my opinion. Uh, it, I understand why he did it, but also at the same time, I don't believe it did much for him because it actually did a lot for him. But uh, he, I, I, I do know that he's being uh, rather predictable in his uh, in his fireballs. So what I'm doing is I'm splitting him off. Uh, he that that late log did uh, really cost him, but. I know that he's running low on elixir and that when he usually has like four elixir he'll just fireball my musketeers while because what I'm doing is that I'm creating a very big elixir advantage uh, and also I'm doing a really good job now that it's like double elixir I'm doing a much better job being able to stop his hog so right there he also fireballed and was hit and missed my collector so I just so right when we uh, dropped that in I was like okay I'm just gonna drop three musketeers in the middle he ends up dropping a lot of elixir in order to uh, defend against that. Uh, my battle ram is able to connect. I also got my bandit in there. Uh, so this is where the ties really start, really starts to turn in this battle and I'm able to pick up the two crown while well, he is not able to actually, well, sorry, but spoiler alert, he does not get the, uh, he, he, does, he does not get a single one of my towers. In fact, uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't get a single one of my towers, but I'm actually able to pick off two of his, which is sort of ironic because he had my towers so low while his were on like basically full health. Uh, I wanted to let him take one, but he didn't really make too much of an effort to really get to it. Uh, he was mostly trying to defend, which is something that I like to do whenever whenever I'm playing against someone. If it's obvious that I'm going to uh, beat them, I will just let them uh, take a tower. So this next one. This next replay I will show you is I was I did lose against bait and also like this weird uh, another bait deck. That's not be that is not because the deck's bad against bait. It was just really really late. I wasn't really I don't know why I was playing. I was just trying to get the crown chest, but it was like I think two in the morning, so a little late for me. 
uh, right here, this is a, this, this is like sort of a common deck that I guess a lot of people will face on ladder, uh, because for some reason a lot of people have this strange obsession over the elite barbs on ladder, which makes sense to a certain point, but also at the same time, um, doesn't make sense, and that's because Honestly, I, I believe the Elite Barbs to be one of the worst cards, uh, in, one of the worst cards in the game right now, and that is most that is mostly because, honestly, I don't really s think that they have a place. They don't provide much value for Six Elixir anymore. Uh, they're so easily countered uh, because when they first when they first came out, they were such a strong force, and then. Uh, people eventually learned to adapt it, and then by the time uh, people already learned how to like counter elite barbs, they decided to nerf the elite barbs. So I'm able to counter them really easily. I just I, all I ha all I have to do um, I don't know why I dropped ice spirit to be completely honest. All I have to do is drop battle ram bandit, and uh, that stops it pretty easily. The bandit's usually still at full health, which allows a nice little counter push that needs to be answered. And my bandit is able to counter his. Um, Ice Wiz while they're tower shooting on, so honestly, I think that's a pretty good trade. I know he has minor, so uh, I the only, the reason why I wasn't really uh, going to place it in the middle is because people are pretty predictive uh, with their minor placements. I've noticed, uh, and I can usually predict it pretty quickly. Uh, as after there, so the skeletons didn't actually like uh, take out my take out my battle ram charge because I didn't want that to happen. Right here I think I'm going to pump up again. Uh, yeah I do pump up again and then this is where I just uh, let everything go. I start going through the three musketeer cycle. Usually I drop my ice golem on the side with the two mus with the uh, with the two musketeers uh, and then at that point I usually use my discretion on where I put my uh, Night Witch and Bandit. I usually drop my um, if I if I if I don't really have my banner rotation, I usually drop my Night Witch as a tank, and uh, I'll proceed from there. I do decide to drop the Bandit in the same lane because he over defended in the because because he did because he did over defend in that uh, left lane, and I was still able to get a lot of damage off. So right here, I'm just going to drop three Musketeers in the center of his base. By this time, uh, it's basically GG right here. And I pick up the quick three crown of bandit. I got two musketeers on the tower. I'm also gonna drop a battle ram if I was able to. And that is good game. So now we're gonna jump into a live battle. So we're currently I think four and two in the challenge. Uh, let's see how we get, let's see how this goes. Usually with this deck I'm able to go get to about seven and zero before I start losing. But I don't know. I haven't really uh, I haven't really I haven't really played yet today. So. And I don't really have any good opening moves. Okay, well now I do. We'll see what we can, uh... We'll see, okay, so we got a mini peck out. That's gonna do a lot of damage to his tower. Uh... Okay, so I'm fine with that. Uh, we will now do a Night Witch. Ice Spirit. And that's all we will um, commit towards that. He may have minor, I don't know. Uh, actually, he may have lightning. We're gonna drop our ice bomb. And now we are sort of in a weird rotation, uh, but he has established that his win condition is the world giant. He may have a two win condition deck. I don't know. Um, I'm expecting some sort of spell. I don't exactly know what spell it would be though, to be completely honest. So, uh, I'm, f I'm, fine with, I'm fine with those trades. Uh, as you see the Night Witch is able to actually, is, is able to take out the uh, Royal Giant very quickly. I'm just going to ignore that mini peck on the left, uh, not going to do anything. <coughs> and I think I should be fine. Uh, my, that Mega Minion will get a hit on my tower. But for the most part, I am in good shape. Uh, I'm going to drop oop, drop the pump on the wrong side. Oh well, uh, that's not the end of the world. I'm I'm still waiting for a spell from him. Uh, I'm thinking maybe lightning, but I'm not a hundred percent sure right now because he hasn't really given me any indication 
his, okay, well, that may be his, uh, that may be his win condition, uh, I mean, his, that may be his spell. He does not really seem to have, like, a super strong, uh, defensive deck, uh, which is what, uh, we're just gonna keep going right now, see, see what we can do. Uh, we should we should be fine if we just keep if we just keep applying pressure. He can't rotate his spells uh, fast enough, or his counters uh, to my to my cards. And there we go. We took the tower. Now we're just gonna drop three musketeers in his base. Uh, those will clean up. That should do quite. That should do some su substantial damage onto his tower. If not, take it. I don't know. Oh, it took it. Okay, so that's that's a good game to my friend Pandos up there. This was an easy win. Honestly, Royal Giant sort of falling out of the meta. I don't think it's that good anymore because of the drastic amount of counters it has, especially the Nightwish being a very, very popular card. So we'll do one more. We're currently at five wins. Sort of like I sort of like these class challenges because they're cheap. I can do a lot of them. And uh, they they have pretty good. I like the rewards. Um, they're not they're not great, but they're decent. I'm thinking giant right now, maybe. No. Okay. Uh, okay, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Um, that's not good. That was a lot of elixir there, though. So we'll draw. I'm I'm thinking skeleton army. Yep, there's a skeleton army. <coughs> That's a good defense on his part. Um, but we're gonna get some nice damage over there. Arrows, not necessary. So that first push he got, the first push that he got so much damage on was that goblin barrel. So we are going to remember that. I don't want to use my three musketeers yet, but we're gonna have to. I don't want to leak too much. I know he's really low on elixir. Uh, there's a few ways we can deal with this. He may have fireball actually. Um, I don't know. Where's where's that skeleton army? So he's gonna have to choose which which lane to defend. He may not defend either. Okay, so he he defended the uh, the, the right the the right lane. Still end up losing both towers though. Uh, we'll just let him take that. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. Uh, risky move, uh, but we just let him take the tower. Maybe he's doing the crown chests. That's a good game against my friend Blue from Bufu seven seven seven. So this is going to be the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, this is going to be Con Basilia signing off, or Trainer Basilia, whatever you want to call me. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.